Hello, I'm Daniela. I'm a biologist. I would like to introduce you the discovering of this particular strategy of pollination. Here we are in the eucalyptus forest in Kings Park and Botanic Garden in Perth, Western Australia. Let's observe this insect. It's called the fungus nut and is part of the order Dittera, the same order as the common fly. It's attracted by the pheromones emanating from this orchid, Pterostylis sanguinea, in particular from the lower petal, or so-called labellum. The orchid flowers in winter and is widespread throughout southwestern Australia, Western Australia and Tasmania. We are seeing its pollination strategy. The pheromones given off by the orchids are the same volatile compound emitted by the female to attract the male during the mating ritual. The insect displays typical sexual behavior, caressing, after various attempts, the lip of the orchid, which is sensitive to the pressure of the insect. We can observe that it shuts like a trap, catapulting the insect inside the flower. Once the insect is trapped inside the flower, it must find a way to get out. It has to pass through a narrow tunnel, the column, where the orchid's pollen is stored. By passing nearby, the insect's back is coated with pollen, which has an adhesive base. Here we can see it getting out of the flower, complete with a type of little yellow backpack on its back, the orchid's pollen. Now the insect will move to another plant, another flower, and will get trapped again. This time, it's able to pollinate the flower by leaving the pollen on the stigma, allowing the fecundation. With this sophisticated strategy of pollination, the orchid has been able to ensure its continuing place in the ecosystem 